Finding the right amount of RAM for your setup has become a careful balancing act. While 8GB used to be plenty for most users, modern apps, games, and even the operating system itself demand more, often leaving 8GB feeling cramped. On the other hand, high-end options like 128GB are typically overkill and expensive. So, where's the sweet spot? With RAM options all over the spectrum, let's explore how much you actually need to keep your system running smoothly without overspending. RAM works as your computer's workspace. Think of RAM as your computer's short-term memory. It's like a desk where you keep all the things you're currently working on. The bigger your desk, the more stuff you can work with at once. When you open a program or file, your computer places it on this desk for quick access. That's why having enough RAM is so important. It lets you work with more things at the same time without slowing down. Remember when computers used to take forever to switch between programs? That's because they didn't have enough RAM. They had to keep moving things back and forth between the hard drive and RAM. Today's computers work the same way, but they need even more RAM because our programs have gotten bigger and we tend to do more things at once. Now, let's talk about the two main types of RAM you'll see in stores. DDR4 and DDR5. Think of them as two different models of the same car. Both will get you where you need to go, but one is newer and faster. DDR4 runs at speeds between 2133 and 3200 megahertz. That's plenty fast for most people. DDR5, the newer version, starts even faster and can go beyond 6400 megahertz. But here's the thing. Just like a sports car in heavy traffic, that extra speed doesn't always make a real difference in day-to-day -day use. DDR5 is more power efficient, which is great for laptops because it helps your battery last longer. When planning an upgrade or building a new system, compatibility remains key. One important consideration, if you're buying a laptop, check if the RAM is soldered to the motherboard. If it is, you can't upgrade later, so it's worth investing in more RAM upfront. All right, we just saw some cool gadgets that are now quite popular, but that wasn't always the case. A lot of marketing had to be done for them to garner such a fan base. So if you are a business owner and want to increase your sales and drive more traffic to your sites, you should check out today's sponsor, TikTok for Business. It is a global platform designed to help brands like yours become creative storytellers and meaningfully engage with millions of TikTok users. Whether you're looking to attract customers, drive sales, or boost conversions, TikTok's unique ad solutions can get you there. From small businesses to large agencies, TikTok for Business has the tools to help you grow. With TikTok for Business, you can launch your first campaign in just three easy steps. First, answer a few questions, and TikTok will create a personalized marketing plan just for you. Then, craft your content using an easy-to-use template or upload existing creative. Finally, run your campaign and watch your business reach new heights with the most engaged audience online. So why are you waiting? Find the link in the description box and launch your first TikTok campaign today. Gaming needs vary depending on your specific games and usage patterns. The key isn't just how many programs you have open. It's about the type of data these programs need to access. For instance, you might run fine with 8 gigabytes while playing older games, even with several browser tabs open, because modern browsers can compress memory usage in background tabs. 16 gigabytes remains a popular choice for gamers this year. This amount gives you enough headroom for gaming while running Discord, a browser, and other background applications. Modern games are optimized to manage memory better, but they still benefit from having more RAM available. So, for streaming or running multiple high-demand applications, 32 gigabytes provides the overhead you need. This is especially true when working with high-quality gameplay recordings or multiple monitors. And talking about DDR4 and DDR5 for gaming, this is something a lot of people wonder about. Here's the truth. While DDR5 is newer and faster, most games in recent years don't actually use all that extra speed. If you're gaming at 1080p or 1440p with a mid-range graphics card, DDR4 RAM running at 3200 megahertz is still perfectly fine. Many gamers are using DDR4 and getting great performance in popular titles like Call of Duty, Fortnite, or Red Dead Redemption 2. DDR5 might give you a small boost in some games, we're talking maybe 5-10 extra frames per second in specific situations. 
but for the price difference, you might be better off putting that money toward a better graphics card instead. Looking ahead, games are starting to use more RAM, especially with fancy graphics and big open worlds. If you're building a new PC and plan to keep it for three to four years, going with 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM might be smarter than 16 GB of more expensive DDR5. You get more space for future games without paying the DDR5 premium. But if money isn't a concern and you want the absolute best, 32 gigabytes of DDR5 will keep you covered for years to come. Not everyone needs the same amount of RAM. For basic tasks like web browsing, email, and watching videos, 8 gigabytes works fine. It's like having a compact desk for light work. If you edit photos or work with lots of browser tabs, 16 gigabytes makes everything smoother. You won't have to keep closing and opening programs to free up space. For video editing or running multiple virtual machines, 32 GB or more becomes necessary. Let's talk about RAM prices. They've been going up and down like a roller coaster. At the start of the year, prices started climbing as more people wanted both DDR4 and DDR5 RAM. You know how sometimes stores run out of popular items? That's what happened with RAM. Some factories couldn't make enough, which made prices jump up, especially for DDR5. Despite these fluctuations, there have been some recent price reductions as manufacturers stabilize their inventories. So, right now, DDR4 costs less than DDR5. Now, you might wondering, should you upgrade your current RAM or buy a new computer? Well, if your computer is fairly new and uses DDR4, adding more RAM is a cost-effective choice. But if your computer is older and uses DDR3 or earlier, it might be time for an upgrade. Sometimes, investing in something new makes more sense. Remember, RAM prices change often, so keep an eye out for good deals. But don't just go for the cheapest option. It might save you money now, but could cause problems later. The market offers several reliable brands. Some reliable models to consider are Corsair Vengeance LPX 8GB, Kingston Fury Beast 16GB, Crucial RAM 16GB DDR4, and G-Skill Trident Z RGB. They're like the major car manufacturers of the RAM world. They've been around for years and have good track records. Remember, what matters most isn't just the brand name, but the warranty coverage and customer support. Look for manufacturers offering lifetime warranties on their modules. It's a sign of confidence in their product quality. For DDR4 systems, focus on reliable speeds rather than exotic, high-frequency modules. For DDR5, consider that prices will likely continue dropping, so don't overspend on current top-end models unless you truly need the performance. As we wrap up, we would say choosing RAM is about your specific needs. If you're just browsing the web and checking email, 8 gigabytes works fine. For gaming or more demanding work, 16 gigabytes gives you room to grow. And if you're doing professional work or heavy multitasking, 32 gigabytes ensures you're never held back. And let's not forget about DDR4 and DDR5, where DDR4 continues to offer great value, while DDR5 presents an investment in future performance. Take time to check your motherboard's compatibility before making a purchase. Think about your needs not just for today, but for the next few years. RAM represents a long-term investment in your system's performance, so choosing the right amount and type makes a real difference in your daily computing experience. Thanks for watching. Now, we'd love to hear from you. How much RAM do you currently use, and does it feel like enough? Drop a comment below with your setup and any questions you have. Let's keep the conversation going.